Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. I can hardly believe that we have reached Christmas week. This has been a long year, and we are coming toward the end of it. I know that uh, 2021 has its own uncertainty, but I have hope that the year ahead is going to bring us into a place of peace and hope and some sense of normalcy and returning to community in a bigger and more wonderful way than we've been able to experience in 2020. But this is Christmas week and we just finished the fourth week of Advent this past Sunday and each week I've been taking us through a devotional on Tuesdays called Receive the Blessing. And as we enter this fourth week of Advent and Christmas Day on Friday, I want us to look at today's devotional, which is Receive the Blessing of the Prince of Peace. Your Advent promise today. This Advent and Christmas season, Christ comes to you as the Prince of Peace, who quiets your inner turmoil and fixes your attention on his promises. Isaiah 9, 6 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. When we are lost in our ability to see God's presence in the middle of turmoil and strife, we are the one who carries a troubled heart. Have any of you carried a troubled heart at any time over this past year? I sure have, and I imagine most of us today would have to say yes. To, at some point this year, our hearts have been troubled. And maybe right now today, you're carrying a troubled heart. And if so, Jesus, peace himself is here. When Jesus came at Christmas, the world was in utter turmoil. A conquering empire was crushing his people under the weight of its progress. He didn't turn a blind eye to it, nor did he rebuke it all and start a revolution to shut down the Roman Empire. No, Jesus looked into the pain of his age with eyes that saw people as image bearers of God and valuable treasures in process. He saw beauty in the brokenness and it enabled him to carry a climate of peace with him wherever he went. Maybe you're seeking peace in your own life today. All around you may seem turbulent, even if good things are going on. Have you ever sought peace in your life to the point of medicating it into yourself? Maybe drinking too much or eating too much, shutting down somebody else's dreams or acquiring stuff to try to feel better. We all have ways that we try to feel, fill this place of um, where we don't have peace with things that might make us feel better. And we may find it for a minute, but it rarely lasts. And getting peace is something everyone aims for, but few people attain. True peace is a matter of the heart. It is our inner disturbance, our spiritual state of chaos that unsettles everyone and everything around us. We see the world through the long, wrong lens. Jesus came to give us a new lens on life. His peace starts on the inside and it works its way outward. He came to address the stress in our hearts that pushes us outside of ourselves to find peace. He showed us that our lack of peace is a lack of trust in him and to believe his promise that he will work all things together for good for those who love him. We read that in Romans 8, 28. 
Could you become the kind of person who carries around a peaceful heart in all circumstances, a person who changes the climate of turbulence and strife around you and brings that peace to bear in whatever room you show up in, whatever meeting you attend, whatever phone call you make. Jesus said that this was possible, that his new heart of flesh within you could at once again sense his presence at all times, in all situations. Becoming a person of peace means we have allowed him to work in us the words of the psalmist in Psalm 131 2. It says, But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Friends, peace is not the absence of strife, but it is the presence of someone who carries the quiet with him. We can learn to be still and quiet our own souls in the presence of God, but it does take practice. This Christmas, your troubled heart can give way to his peace within. Know that he is near right now and has delivered you from fear and anxiety and stress. Your heart belongs to him, Jesus, the Prince of Peace, and this is the blessing of Christmas. If peace has eluded you in the past, I invite you to spend some time today, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and imagine a peace that's found by lingering in the presence of the one who is peace himself today. Set aside a few minutes of uninterrupted silence in the presence of God and ask him to impart the blessing of Christ's peace into your soul. Be still and know that he is God and receive the blessing of Jesus today. God's love expressed to you this Christmas by welcoming his peace that passes all understanding into your troubled heart. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, our Prince of Peace, we welcome you into our hearts today. Where we have stress or anxiety or fear or turmoil, would you come as the Prince of Peace and settle our hearts today? Would you help us to be still and know that we can trust you, that we can trust in your promises, that you are going to care for us, give us peace that passes all understanding, that will guard our hearts and mind in Christ Jesus today. And as we celebrate the birth, your birth, Jesus, on Friday, may we receive into our hearts the blessing of Christmas. Your very spirit, Christ, would come and would inhabit us and would set us free and give us this peace that passes all understanding. We pray this in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Well, Merry Christmas, friends. I hope to see some of you, at least in your cars, on Thursday night at the Christmas Eve service in the parking lot. It's going to be really cold, so bundle up. And then I hope that on Christmas Day, you have so much blessing, whether you're celebrating quietly or with family, whatever way you're celebrating, may the peace of Christ just envelop you and love you and give you the Spirit of Christ. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.